welcome back. It is now November Primark all time. Are you excited? Because I am. And uh, basically Primark is my favourite destination to shop at when it is autumn winter. Well, it's probably like you know, you know I love Primark, but especially around autumn winter time, I love all the coats, jackets, wintery stuffs. I am just a girl obsessed. I just noticed because I always have my phone on my lap when uh, I'm filming. Just do, just do. Uh, just take a selfie if I want to. <laughs> um, I'm a bit matchy matchy with my phone today, my case today. I'm gonna get straight into it. First thing is this dress, and it's a little kind of dog tooth knitted swing dress, and I've worn it quite a lot recently, so a bit late in the adding it into the haul situation, but I absolutely love it, and I am so glad to show it to you now, and I hope you like it, because I love it, and it was only 10 pounds, and they also do a couple of different variations. It's just a super comfortable dress to wear kind of every day and then you can just add a coat and jacket and you are sorted plus dog tooth kind of like massive right now and it's black and white so you're instantly ready to go. So one of the coats that I have been loving with this dress I'm all around just loving is this gorgeous camel boyfriend coat but it's kind of like a pale camel. I don't know if it's going to come across how I'm trying to describe, but a lot of camels are kind of tan or look a bit greenish, um, and I didn't particularly suit any of those. And I saw this one in Primark and it was a lot paler, um, and I thought, oh my gosh, really like that, and I feel that it's okay against my skin tone. Um, this was £20, and uh, they have a variety of colours, but obviously camel is, you know, the thing right now, a thing right now, and I uh, absolutely adore it. We all, love a, we all love a camel or two, do we? Can I just say, speaking of camels, camels have humps, what is hump day? I see it on Twitter, happy hump day, don't know what it is, please help me. With most things in Primark I do recommend trying this on because I actually got mine in a size bigger just because I liked how that looked more than like a bit snugger, if that makes sense. So it's just the kind of style that you're looking for, definitely try it on so that you can achieve desired look. This next coat slash jacket was just the answer. It was just the answer to all questions. So basically there is a jacket um, slash coat in Topshop at the moment and it's uh, about £110. I really liked it, tried it on and I kind of thought, oh, it's not really worth that at all because it didn't fit how I liked and it just, mm, it was like yellow inside and I wasn't feeling that. Enter Primark. So it's basically the whole Prince of Wales, is that the print? The Prince of Wales print or something. Um, and it's basically Czech slash mini houndstooth but it is just absolutely perfect. It's pink inside, which is fine. And uh, yeah, it's quite long, quite boyfriendy. And I really like when the coats cover your bottom because I just feel a bit more secure and uh, more cozy. And this one was a mere 25 pounds, I believe. So in comparison, absolutely amazing. Or 30, I can't quite remember. It might have been 30, uh, but either way, amazing. I'm literally just sorted for the colder months now. Um, next, I have a little faux fur teeny little stole and this was £6 and it's just a dark brown and it is super small obviously I have all of the hair right now um, but it's probably it's like the length of my hair and I just thought it'd be nice just to add on to any jackets or coats and things just for a little bit of extra extra warmth and also because it makes you look sassy and it makes you look style. So I recently Instagrammed this picture and you all, all you guys could not believe that this um, faux fur was from Primark. <gasps> okay, so this is black and white gorgeous faux fur doll. This is from the limited edition area. It obviously doesn't go with this suit. What? It could go, it could go. And this was from the limited edition section in the Tottenham Court Road Primark. I know that a lot of Primarks do have some of the limited edition bits. I first saw Hannah wearing it and then she um, styled this up for the blogger style, The High Street. So absolutely fell in love with it all over again and I'm so glad that I own it because I feel like this is one of Primark's pieces that everyone will want. I got it. Next up while I was browsing this I actually met one of you guys and you recognised me because of my suitcase which I thought was so funny. Um, so it was lovely to meet you and I hope you enjoy your detail. So I got this which is kind of like a gelée slash vest slash thing, waist, sleeveless coat. I, I'll take it as you will. Um, this was... £14 and it's just basically like a gelée vest thing. Just thought it might be quite cool. Just to add a bit more texture to your outfit and a bit more warmth and uh, yeah you can't really go wrong with that. So I got one of those and they also have those in a few different colours as well but I just stuck with black because 
I got a black faux fur snood and this was £5. I have a pink one uh, which I actually wore in my last Primark haul for a little while until I got too hot um, and then I wanted a black one so I got this and this is a lot more um, kind of bigger. The other one I love but it does feel somewhat like a neck brace kind of um, which makes me like whew, you know like you see men like doing this with their collars. I felt like a, a bit like that and I thought am I doing something wrong because you know if you're being naughty you get well well can't explain <laughs> but this one's a lot more bigger and more cushy so I thought I would get that one and that was only five pounds so Ooh. okay so now for a couple of shirts and a dress I'm gonna start with this shirt and this was ten pounds and it's just basically a bog standard sheer shirt, but it's white and then it has black stripes. Some are thick, some are thin. And I just thought it was a nice basic, again, to have for autumn winter. Like, really good to go under things and then layer up jackets and folk fur and just kind of things like that. And just a really black and white, you can't go wrong. Um, so I really love this. And I feel like the shirts used to not fit me well at all um, because I get the boob gaveage, the boob gaveage. But I feel like they're really... Um, sorted that problem with the double layer bit there. The next shirt I have is very similar to one I was going to get from Zara and this again was £10 and it's just a black sheer shirt with no collar and it's just got white piping around it and um, around the collar and then down at the front little cleavage area. And again I had to grab this dress and you all could not believe it was from Primark. I haven't actually worn this yet but I'm so excited to. Um, it's basically a black and white dress and um, it's kind of a skater dress with a shirt look on the top with a little white bib area, white lining, white cuffs and a white collar. And this was £13 and I really love it. I have tried it on um, and I really did like it on but I am just yet to sort of wear it for the day if that makes sense. So love that. I couldn't not get this after the amount of tweets that you guys sent me saying Becky you have to get this jumper. So of course I got it. You guys. If you were one of those people let me know down below so I can give you a comment cuddle. Uh, it's the most beautifully ugly Christmas jumper ever with a pug and Santa Paws! I got this again in a bigger size because you don't want a, a tight Christmas jumper. Whew. And this is obviously, well, not obviously, but this is for me to wear around the house. I've already worn it a few times in, in my home and in hotels uh, because it's just so soft. If you ever see this, there's different variations. There's some like a unicorn one, that kind of thing. Definitely give it a touch. It's very soft. Actually, it act they all have stickers on them saying, touch me. I recommend you touch them. They want to be touched. And then next, this has been so useful in the last few days, um, and I have the busiest November ever, so again, this is perfect. Um, because I stay in quite a lot of hotels, because I live about an hour away from London, so sometimes if things finish late, it's nice to stay over. Um, so I got this, which was £4, biggest bargain ever. So again, it's the, most, it's the beautiful design, and it's one of these like opening situations, but I basically put my makeup and contact lenses and medication things in here, so... Uh, contacts and medication then this one which actually comes off I put in my kind of touch-up makeup so that I can also rip this off and put it in my handbag for the day and then this one I just put every other makeup item that I need in there and it just it's just brilliant it's just perfect and it's all in one place I don't really I haven't hung it up yet because I tend to do my makeup on the bed. So next up I have two nail products and the first are these Christmas false nails which were a pound which are amazing <laughs> so basically clear but then with little Santa hats on them. I thought they were brilliant. And I really love Primark false nails. See through the hole. Um, I think they're really good and it's really nice little packaging. And then I also got a £1 PS Love matte top coat for any nail polish to make any nail polish matte because I quite like their look. So those are the two nail products I got. And then finally for this behoosive Primark haul, what is autumn winter without a new mark, eh? And I absolutely love white hot chocolate. It's my favourite thing. So, uh, and I was actually given this from the guys at Primark recently, so thanks so much. It's so thoughtful and sweet because obviously it's pink polka dot and has a pug on it, so cheerio. And that is my Primark haul for the month of November. Do you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it? Thanks so much for watching. What have you seen recently in Primark? What's your favourite piece that I've just shown you? And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!